Pag-i-pitch naman nung sinabi. Okay. Kaya na wala ako pagka sinundan ko. It's good to have this kind of seminar. On my part also, I can say that I'm learning. As I say this word to you, I'm learning. I'm learning also, and we're all learning. It's all because we are Christian and we need to learn these things. So, let's go to vital na sign number three. It's sabi dito, all enjoy a sense of safety and value in their sharing their feelings. So, it's sabi dito, kung makikita nyo sa one, two, three, sabi niya, all. Hindi lang yung siya, not her, not all. only he, but all. So, in a relationship, dapat yung dalawa sana. All enjoy a sense of safety and value in sharing their feelings. Sabi nyo sa <coughs> saklat na binigay sa amin, na healthy relationship, sabi niya, you you not only know your thinking in words will be valued, but says here, but you also have the freedom to share your feelings. As husband and wife, we have also should have a freedom to share our feelings, knowing they will be respected. Or nagsisalita lang yung sasati. Ayaw na natin, pina, ano to, pinagtigil na ba na natin yung mga kasama natin. Sabi niya dito, in unhealthy situation, on the other hand, any attempt to share feelings may be met with a denigrating statement. Or you will just insult her or him. Yung mga kagaya nito, oh, lighten up. You're making out a mole or in other words, malit lang na problema, pinanak na laki mo. Give me a break. Kanyang kayo sinasabi natin. For the husband and wife, we are learning. At least, we can be corrected by the things that you are doing also. As we go in our relationship, I know sometimes may mga nagbabago rin. But I believe, as we are in Christ, maging nga, ano to? He's uh, transforming us also to be a good husband, to be a good uh, wife. Amen po ba? <laughs> so, doon ako tumigil sa book na ibigay ng pastora. And I have to go to the other topic na nakonsentrate din dito. I have to talk about in, in marriage, we need this emotional safety in marriage. So, kailangan natin ito. How do we feel safe in expressing our feelings to our husband, our wife. So what is emotional safety? Kaya kailangan natin ito. Even an individual, <laughs> kailangan din natin ito. Emotional safety. Sabi dito, emotional safety refers to a sense of security and comfort that individual feel, individuals feel in their personal and interpersonal relationships. It is the feeling being able to express oneself without fear mm-hmm. of judgment, rejection, or ridicule. So, dapat meron tayo, meron tayo dito. As husband and wife, we should feel safety mm-hmm. emotional. Because uh, lack of emotional safety, sabi niya dito, can lead to feelings of anxiety, stress, disconnection. Ayaw mo na makipag-usap sa kanya. Or, Sometimes defensiveness it can prevent can prevent also from fully expressing themselves. Kaya na mga nasabi kanina ng dalawang pastors ayaw na mag ibali alam nanya. Assuming. Ayaw mo na masabihin kasi makaganda ito rin naman. So it's very important on our part as a husband and wife the emotional safety. Why is why emotional safety is important? Like that. Why is that? Why is that? Why is that? Why is Because number one, it like, fosters. It fosters trust. And we say it encourages trust between us among a husband and wife or it promotes trust between each other. So when individuals feel safe to express their thoughts, their feelings, they are more likely to be vulnerable and open with their partner. Which can help build a deeper connection of course, 
Mabibil yun yung ating trust sa Kanya. If we will save expressing our emotion, our feelings to one another, our trust is being built. Mm-hmm. Number two, it promotes communication. Yung pala yung sinabi kanina. It promotes communication. If we don't feel the uh, emotional safe, uh, wala na, ayaw mo na magkipag-usap, di ba? But if we feel safe emotionally to one another, mas kung gusto natin magkipag-usap sa ating mga asawa, di ba? Mm-hmm. Amen? So, it's very important our parties now. Uh, at least we can say to our partner, yung mga kailangan natin, <coughs> our needs, our wants, our concern in life. Number three, it supports mental health. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I think it's very important also this one, having this emotional safety. It's very crucial in our part in maintaining a good mental health. Kailangan, kailangan natin yung emotional safety. It promotes the feeling of security between husband and wife. There's happiness, of course, there's contentment. Mm-hmm. Para hindi naman ma-stress yung tayo ng dalawa, <laughs> yung asawa natin, or mm-hmm. both sides. Number four, it, strength, it, it strengthens intimacy, mm-hmm. emotional safety. Our closeness together, yung together is ninyo. How is our relationship? Lumalalim ba or? I know, uh, I can ma- ma-observe ko rin to, but we need to fight as a husband and wife, as a Christian. Kung natin lang, we need at least our relationship will not go further. At least we will go deeper. As we desire to go deeper in God, I think it follows also. Mm-hmm. And I believe it follows. Kung gusto natin lumalim yung ating relationship sa Panginoon, it also follows with our husband and wife. Right? Amen. Amen. Number five, sabi dito, it creates a positive relationship environment. Mm-hmm. Safety, emotional, it creates a positive relationship environment. This can build our head build a healthy and fulfilling relationship in both partner, partners can thrive emotionally and mentally. So, maraming na itutulog ko sa atin. So, both, both partner, partners will feel valued and respected and that's the sign. There's a positive relationship. So, sa Bible ba, mayroon ba tayong makikita about emotional safety? Wala, di ba? Wala. Mm-hmm. But, we have also guidance and principle related to emotional well-being and healthy relationship. For example, sabi niya dito sa Ephesians 4 verse 26-27, it says, in your anger, do not sin. Do not let the sun go down while you are still angry. And do not give the devil a foothold. So in other words, do not give a place to the devil to have an opportunity to destroy your marriage, to destroy our marriage. We should learn how to say, kung sino man nakasala sa atin, we should learn how to say sorry. That's that. true. Mm-hmm. Ask forgiveness. Mm-hmm. Or, yung pala yung pinag-discussan namin sa mga mga men's, ayaw na mag-humble. Humble. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? At least. <laughs> 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 Dapat may humble. Nagipag fellowship eh. Ito sa importance, yung verse na ito, ito sa importance of uh, managing one's emotion in a healthy way. Mm-hmm. And resolving conflicts in a timely manner, hindi natin, huwag na natin pa umagahin pa. As, as much as possible, in your anger, sabi nito, do not let the sun go down. As much as possible, in, a, or in other words, as much as possible, as early as possible, mag-sorry na tayo. <laughs> Ma- mag-peace na tayo yeah. sabi din sa Proverbs 17-17 uh, yeah. a friend yeah. loves at all times and a brother is born for adversity in other words, hus- husband and wife uh, mayroon sana yung pag-support natin sa isa't isa our relationship to one another yeah. and of course sabi din sa 1 Corinthians 13 about love 
Love is patient and mm-hmm. kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrong, but rejoices at the light. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Nakayanin natin lahat para sa ating asawa, di ba? Ayan. So, magkikita natin ito. This scripture describes the quality of a healthy living. A healthy love. And of course, including trust, protection, perseverance as we go on in our a healthy marriage. So overall, kung makikita natin sa Bible, it's emphasized the importance of love, the forgiveness to one another, healthy relationship. So, marahil matanong natin sa ating sarili as husband and wife, you can ask this to yourself, marahil mamaya rin pag uwi ninyo, how safe do you feel sharing your feelings with your spouse? Very safe ba? Your answer. And number two, sabi dito, how safe does he, he or she with you? Very safe. You should answer that. Number three, sabi dito, how safe do you and your kids? Kasali din yung ating mga anak. Of course, our neighbors also, palawagin natin, your fellow church members and your co-workers feel with one another. You should answer, very safe. Very safe sana. Amen ko ba? Amen. Amen. Sabi dito, I think I want to share also this one. Sabi na mga sila sa inyo. The freedom to share feelings and they know they will be heard and respected is one of the clearest, sabi dito, one of the clearest indicators or sign of the health of a relationship. Mm-hmm. relationship. So if there's freedom in a relationship, that's uh, freedom to share your feelings, that's one sign of a healthy relationship. Mm-hmm. May mga background ng nakunti. Memories! Yahoo! I would like to share, to share also the scripture as we are discussing with yeah. husband and wife. Mm-hmm. And as a believer in Christ, Ito palagi natin sinasabi rin sa ating sarili. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. In the life, I now live in the flesh. I live in the faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. In other words, we die to our own self and we begin a new life. So as husband and wife also, I believe that as we grow more in Christ, we become nicer. Amen? Amen. We become nicer to our husband. We become nicer to our wife. Amen. 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 And then, I would like to end also this uh, scripture. And this is also our desire as husband and wife. That let the fruit of the Holy Spirit be upon us. Amen. Amen. As we grow in Christ, as we transform in, as we transform daily, from glory to glory. Ito rin sana yung desire natin that we become more loving. May magkakaroon din tayo ng sabi dito. Peace, patience, kindness, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Again, such things there is no more. Kaya yung pala, yung sinabi ni Pastora kanina, as husband and wife, iwasan na natin yung sinasabi natin, igulot kasi ako. But I believe that the Holy Spirit is upon us, so as He transforms us from glory to glory, we can become more nicer, we can become more sweeter to our wife. Yun po ba? To our husband. Or sabi, alisin na natin yung pagiging igulot, o pagiging lupano, lagay na natin yung pagiging kristyano. Amen. So that's uh, my sharing to God be the glory. Amen. 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 Amen.